Hey guys, Rapture here. Before we get started on today's video, I'd like to ask you guys to follow me on my socials. Recently, I started a stream on Twitch, so twitch.tv slash Rapture. Um, I've been streaming on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 2 to 6 p.m. PST. So if you guys are interested, please go ahead and follow it. And below, it'll be in the description. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get started on the video. Thank you very much. <laughs> So as of this morning, there was some leaks regarding the how the battle pass a little bit more in detail, as well as how new hero releases will essentially work. So as you know, with the Watchpoint pack, this kind of was announced with the Watchpoint pack and everything. So with the Watchpoint pack back in it was first like I guess released the public to for, to buy back in like right before the first like, sorry second beta came out for Watch Two. And um, I did get it, so I will get the hero essentially. But um, what, I'm, what I mean is that if you have this season one premium battle pass, so the paid version of the battle pass, you will automatically receive um, the ability to play Karika, which is the new hero um, that is announced. Probably the Fox Girl, like I said before. I'm going to assume it is based on the promos that we've been having lately, it seems. Um, of course, that's concerning because this doesn't mean that Overwatch 2 has become a pay-to-play game. Now, there is a free alternative to doing this where you can still get Kariko, but it's kind of like Valorant and Apex where you have to mostly grind a lot to actually get them. Um, now, of course, people are not happy about this. You know, why is this becoming a pay-to-play? Now, I'd say that isn't really an issue in Valorant or in Apex as badly as it would be in Overwatch, given the history of how hero releases have been in the past with, with Overwatch. Um, John Spector said, you know, here that, that yes, you will give them on the free track the battle pass. But what's concerning is that it says on the battle pass, and and, there's, and keep in mind, I don't really play Apex or Valorant, but I've played it enough to know how each of the hero, I can help you to get each character kind of thing in, in, in either game. So in Valorant especially, which is one of them we're familiar with, um, essentially it is, you essentially, you have a battle pass and you get XP uh, for doing certain tasks, for doing daily tasks. Most battle pass to RNT games will have that system in place. You do certain um, actions in the game, you get XP for them, um, which will go to, what will essentially be the progress towards your battle pass, essentially. Um, the issue is that I find is that they said battle pass, not specifically how you get a hero. So does that mean that the hero is locked to uh, that, the, that season of, of that battle pass season? And it looks like that is the case. Um, but of course it's like, well, what if I didn't get, what if I wasn't there for that season? What if I didn't get that tier, that max tier, but then the time the season ended, for instance, um, and I still want to get the character. Can I still get the character? Am I locked out forever? Despite not, because you no, know, everybody will be on Overwatch too when it comes out. We'll have people who will, will probably come maybe in season four or even season ten Bell Pass, for instance. Whenever, however long this game is supported for, essentially, right? And does that mean they're locked out of of those seasons um, characters forever? If that is the case, um, and that's what you know. Mr. Dorwolf here was, was, was asking. And John Spector, and he is the lead uh, commercial dude. He also was, at one point, the, uh, the Overwatch League League guy, if, if it makes any sense. He essentially, I think he is trying to be as, as revealing as he possibly can without giving too much, because this seems like corporate speak to me, because we will have free pass to get new heroes in future seasons too. That's kind of vague, because it's like, okay, does that mean that um, that will overlap into the next season? Or does it just that mean that you'll, you'll only get new heroes for that, that season? That's not really answering the question. Um, and so, and I'd say, well, it works for Valorant, it works for League, it works for all these games, why wouldn't it work for Overwatch? And I'd say even then, there's not really a battle pass system that is like where each hero is tied to. It. None, uh, whether it's in League, in Apex, or in Valorant, it's not like you, you you can get any you can get any hero at any time, regardless at what um what season it is, right? It's not just like locked to a certain battle pass for a certain season. It is you get the hero at any time. If you look in Valorant, for instance, 
Um, not a humongous biggest fan of the game, but I know how I've played it during the beta a lot and then the onward, a little bit onward, just to kind of get a feel for it. I'm a PS guy at heart, but that's that's the point of it. Uh, um, and that is yes, because you get because anytime you get, as I before, you get XP for doing tasks on a battle pass, and of course, those tasks will not just go into your battle pass, but also count towards the progress you're trying to do to unlock a, a character, for instance. Even in League, it's not it's, it's pretty fast. Um, like even if you have because the characters are in League are so different from each other in League, where it's the fact that it's super fast doesn't matter too as much. Um. But in the Valorant and Valorant and Apex, the, the the core play style for each character is very much the same. But it's just that that, that because they all have different utilities or whatever, it's like it's just slightly different. Pretty much the exact same thing across both games. Like both games that where you'll have the same guns, um, you'll have the same gear pretty much. It's like you'll have it same stuff except with the exception of the utility essentially. And that's what it just comes down to. Um, and so I don't think it would work for Overwatch. Because that hey, if you're, if it's locked to the battle pass and not just hey, I want to get I want to earn to get this character first and then get your next look how it is in, in Valorant, it's going to be like oh, can I ever can I ever get this character back? Or, or if it, if I want to get this character first, if I, will that affect will that delay my progress for the next season for the battle pass? And I can, I can stack and stack and stack, and then that can be like extremely um, frustrating to, to to essentially get to all the characters essentially, right? Um. And it wouldn't work for Overwatch specifically. And here's why I, I would really say it does not work for Overwatch specifically. That is based on the history of how heroes have been released in Overwatch, especially ever since 2018 when Break came out. They have either been fundamentally overpowered and over definitely, definitely without a shadow of doubt, overtuned. Um, even in Overwatch 2, right now, the most, the most recently released hero is Junker Queen. Uh, Soldier didn't really have that issue of being broken. She was overturned, but she was quickly fixed, kind of thing, right? That was like in the alpha when pros were playing it and not just in the beta. Um, Junker Queen is hella busted right now. Never watched her beta. Like, and was, on the build that pros are playing, she is busted beyond beyond belief. She completely dominates the whole entire game. Um, when Brig came out, she dominated the whole entire game. And guess what? She's even after 19 straight nerfs. A lot of them are major. She still dominates the game in high ranks, and she's also an anti-fun character. Anti-fun character. Um, and so it's like, okay, well, there's a whole entire joke in the Overwatch community where it's like the DLC hero, right? And so if like, oh, this character is like obviously better than than, than the old ones, so it's called a DLC hero because they're new and they're just better than everybody else, kind of thing. But it seems that like Blizzard is taking this um, definition to heart, if you will, because. You have to be, because if the characters are but is, is as or this busted on release, and you don't have it, and everybody else does because they have the battle pass, you're fucked. Guess what? There's no way you could possibly participate in that. I think this tweet this is right. Sorry guys, I can't play this con my ass. Do not buy the a battle pass. Just how it essentially works. If you don't buy, it, you can't you can't help your team. Because think about it. The only thing thing that could really uh, counter a a Brig, especially on release, was a Brig Mirror matchup. If you don't have that hero, you can't do shit. And that's why there's the argument, oh, I just, you know, counterpick pick the Brig. It doesn't work that way. It didn't work, that's not how it always works. Release Brig was, was, was proof of that. Um, and that just was not fun to play against at all, right? So, one, the casual players will be wiped, will one, never come back. And two, I mean, I mean, just imagine, imagine if that system wasn't, if that, the system of like having a battle pass and unlock system, you only unlock a hero by the battle pass. It was essentially a pay to pay to win thing. What happened with when Brig was released? Where only a select few people had access to Brig, and and because they had Brig and how busted she was, she dominated the game. There was no way to counter at the time, like at all. Um, I don't want to see that happen to Overwatch Two, but that does make me nervous. So I, in my, in my opinion, I think as much as I despise Fortnite with a passion, I don't like the game. I would have been, I'm not really even a BR fan, but at least all of their stuff is all cos in the bow pass. It's all cosmetic and not gameplay wise. When it comes gameplay wise, that's when it becomes an issue, especially when you make it an absurd amount of. If you make it an absurd uh, t like high tier, where you where you actually can't find unlock that character, I do not I don't see a future for this game. 
I, don't, I just don't see it. Nah, and that's what worries me because I, because I love Overwatch. I want to see, I want to see it grow. But I say I was actually very happy to see there was a Mobile Pass for Overwatch because it gives them to grind outside of competitive, for instance. And a lot of people want to grind the game. That's just how it is. There, there are people that literally that after like the what was it like the first like, six, like day six of like Overwatch two being like the, that after that you know, the day day one Overwatch two being out. Yeah, it was at one million viewers on that average views on that day. I think it was actually the peak. And it, on the sixth day, because there was no thing to grind on Overwatch two, it went back down to seven seven k. It dipped significantly. That's not what I don't want to see, right? Because I know that's simply need a, you know a break from competitive. It, it's just how it is. Um, and so, but regardless. I don't want to see Overwatch become a paid-to-win game. Look at other class shooters that suffer, that suffer the, the same fate. Look at, well, I'm not sure if Smite is it, but you get the point. Smite had the same issue. So did um, Battlefront 2. They both start as pay-to-win games, essentially, where it's like the best characters were locked behind a paywall, um, whether it be a battle pass or a um, or just or just a paywall at all, right? And by the time they changed... Um, they changed that from from and removing that mechanic essentially, where you just got the everything by earning it kind of thing. It, the game died. Both games, yes, they still have a community around them, but for the most part, both games are, are what you consider to be, to be dead. I don't want to see that can to happen to Overwatch. I love this game, and that's why I'm critical of this. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know, comment. If it's what do you guys think of this? You guys think it's, it's not it's a very um it's a, it's a big L on Blizzard's part, or do you think it's 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 actually good for the game? And let me know why. Like, I like to hear your thoughts. I, this is a conversation that I like to keep open to everybody. Keep it civil, obviously, and that's that's kind of hard to do in the comment in the YouTube comment section, believe it or not. But it's please do. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Peace.